Hello everyone and welcome to Huge My Television's Toy Showcase channel. Today, for my regulars who are viewers of the channel, you'll probably already know most of this information, but you can stick around and enjoy the video as well. And welcome to all the new subscribers, thank you for joining us, and anyone who hasn't watched one of my videos before, we talk Star Wars action. And today, we're going to learn all about Disney's Star Wars, from the very first Force Awakens action figure, the scales, the lineups, everything I always get asked in my comments section for all the people who are just starting out to collect Star Wars action figures. This is the video for you. If you want to learn more about what's a vintage collection, what's a retro, what's a black series, and you want to know the scales and what they all mean, this is the video for you. We're going to start off at the beginning, way back with The Force Awakens 2015. They brought out the movie line. This is a 3.75 inch line, very cool. I got the whole entire collection of these. These are very sentimental figures to me. Let's begin now putting a few figures on the table behind me and we'll talk a little bit about them. So the three examples I've got here of Ray Resistance outfit, Kylo Ren unmasked and Poe Dameron in his flight suit. These were issued in 2015. Force Awakens 3.75 inch lineup. This is the packaging. This is how they all look back in those days. They had six waves, I believe, of this series. Very interesting to collect. There's about 36 figures in the set, and this is just some of them. They no longer make these, but these aren't that hard to come by if you need to find them. There's the, the odd one or two that's difficult, but mostly these are pretty common figures. Following on from The Force Awakens in 2016 was Rogue One. And as you can see, the three samples I have here, two of the characters, K2SO and Director Krennic, have the Star Wars logo on the card back and underneath the Rogue One logo. When a character was put into the line, such as Fenray, there is no Rogue One under there. The Mandalorian doesn't have, he's not from the Mandalorian, he's from Rebels, but he doesn't have the Rebels insignia underneath. Once again, same size as the Force Awakens card backs, and these are 3.75 inch figures. The next in the movie line 3.75 inch edition was these carded figures of The Last Jedi. The size difference is much, much different compared to what we had for Force Awakens and Rogue One. The cards became very small and unique, and this white and red was the color scheme of the film. Uh, the three samples I have here, the Leia and R2-D2 were a Wave 2 and the Emperor Palpatine is a European exclusive, I believe it was a Wave 3, one of the very hard to finds, one of the, one of my favourite 3.75 inch collection figures and happy to tell you I have the complete set. Following The Last Jedi turned up these. These are Solo, a Star Wars story action figures. As you see, it's gone from red and white to the yellow and white. They are very lovely looking card backs. The design of these look fantastic. The only difference is on the side, you can see a little indent where they've decided to cut that, which is a new feature compared to the card backs from before. The three samples I show you of Key Toll Sight Han Solo, Mim Ben and Rio Durant are all very hard to find. Wave 4s did not turn up at retail very much. This is throughout the world. Were sporadically put in stores here in Australia. If you were lucky to get them, well done. But the Solo single carded 3.75 inch, I am happy to say I have the complete set. So after the Solo film franchise was completed, Hasbro moved on to the 3.75 inch Resistance, Star Wars Resistance that should be. These are in very limited run, I think they've been discontinued now. This is for the animated series that appears on Disney Channel. These three samples I have of Toro Doza, Commander Pyre and Major Von Reg. They have a, a very small Wave 1 series, we don't know if they're going to make a Wave 2. The Commander Pyre can be found in 6 inch form now in a Disney Parks Black Series pack available exclusively at Disney Parks. 
Um, for the set, I do have the complete collection, but we don't know as of yet how many more there's going to be. So, to start off with, the six single-carded figures. These are a very cool design. I also love the way you see the cutout around the outsides. Very unique to them, and it looks like the card backs are getting even smaller once again. The next 3.75 inch figures we're going to turn our attention to is the Vintage Collection. Now the Vintage Collection has been around a while but it, it restarted once again, it reset itself in 2018 with Wave 1 where a lot of repacks were formed. These were a struggle to get off the shelves because everyone had bought them before and they pushed out so many. The three that you see in front of you are all exclusives. Now, these are the ones that people want. These kind of, the, the really good vintage collection stuff is very desirable for the collector. These are mostly left on card. Most people who buy vintage collection don't take them loose. If they do have a loose one, they usually buy two, one to keep in the pack. I have mine in protective cases as well. As you can see, I've got the 41st Elite Core Clone Trooper, the Gamorrean Guard, and the Ray Island Journey. There is a lot of this uh, out there, but it is slowly starting to turn up. In Australia, we haven't seen anything other than Wave 1 in stores. Now they're starting to get onto Wave 6, I believe, on top of all the exclusives that come along through conventions and fan channels and stuff. These are very desirable. These are the action figures that Star Wars collectors really, really love. If you love 3.75 inch, everyone wants these. So now we're going to turn our attention to the Black Series. So the Black Series in these style of boxes started when Force Awakens did in 2015 with Finn being 0-1, the first one they've pushed out. These three samples I have here of the Stormtrooper, Grand Moff Tarkin and Grand Admiral Thrawn. I went with the bad guys. On the side you'll notice they all get represented by a number. In this case, 48, 63, 47. Well, these are supposed to be just the base mainline Black Series, six inch figures. Now, each of the figures do come in waves. I believe the most recent wave we have is wave 21, which is kind of starting to hit stores all around the US. Hopefully it comes to Australia. We would love to see wave 21. But this is what people collect. There is a system from possibly going to 99, 1 to 99 in the numbering, and then something will happen differently. But in the straightforward numbering of the action figures, this is them. You can pretty much get everyone. There is characters that haven't made that people really want, such as Bib Fortuna. But we will see over time if they do make them. So this is the basic Black Series line of figures. Next up here we have the exclusive Black Series and I've gone with, once again, all the bad guys because that's some of my favourites. <laughs> the Mimban Stormtrooper, the Imperial Jump Trooper and the General Veers. Now these are all exclusives and exclusives in different ways. What I would point out to you first is the General Veers has an exclusive sticker. They don't all come with exclusive stickers, his does in particular and also to note, no numbering. No numbering is always the go when it comes to exclusives on the side of the Black Series, such as that. Here's the Jump Trooper, same again. He's an exclusive, but doesn't come with the sticker. And to be a little bit different, sometimes they like to do things like this, where they change the colour of the card. If you've seen the Obi-Wan Kenobi one, he has like a greeny blue. The Minban Trooper has like a grey. Just to denote that they are all exclusives in the Black Series. This time our Black Series is an oversized Black Series and this one is an exclusive. The Gamorrean Guard on the side as you can see has no numbering but he's still an exclusive and a much bigger box compared to the standard size box. They may bring out a giant size version of something that is numbered as of yet I've yet to see one. There are vehicles that are numbered. There are vehicles that are exclusive. This is an exclusive larger size Black Series figure. The newest thing they're doing at the moment 
is what's called the deluxe line. These are not exclusive. Henceforth, on the side, they are a little bit bigger than the usual, maybe because General Grievous is enormous, but they have a D1 on the side. We ha have a prediction that there's going to be D2, D3, etc., etc., down the line. So they come with that numbering on the side instead of having no number or a designated number. Little bit oversized boxed, interesting. Hopefully the next two will have roughly the same size box. It is a little bit thinner than the Gamorrean Guard, but that is the D1s, the deluxe version of the Black Series. The next lineup I'll introduce you to is the Black Series Archive Collection. As you can see, there are three samples in front of you, Luke Skywalker, Bosk and Boba Fett. The only one missing from this first wave that I don't have is IG-88. There is the second wave hitting stores pretty much right now in the US where we have Anakin Skywalker, Yoda, Biker Scout and Darth Maul. This one is the newest addition to my collection. I'm very happy to have Boba Fett in that scale. These ones here were released in the Black Series back in 2013. On the back, that will tell you more information about. There's Luke in 2013, the packaging he used to be in. Bosk in the black and blue box, 2015. Boba Fett in the black and orange, 2013, etc. They'll always show you a picture of what they used to look like in the old packaging. Now you can get them in this archive collection stuff. Very cool lineup. It is six inch, just like the standard Black Series stuff. A lot of these are just updated from the older versions. They've fixed up the paint jobs, the apps, the f all that sort of thing. Very cool to have the archive collection. Highly recommend it for those who didn't collect way back in the day. Six inch figures. Now we move on to the Black Series convention exclusives. Convention exclusives can have any card back on them they want. These ones here, the cases that they're in, these cases come from Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles. Link in the description down below if you want to grab yourself some as well. These ones here, iridescent card backs. They are Black Series figures, 6 inch. These are highly, highly sought after because they are convention exclusive figures. These are the 20th anniversary Phantom Menace ones. The Jedi Duel between Obi-Wan and Darth Maul. Very cool figures. In the archive line, that Darth Maul will be re-released in his own archive collection box and the Obi-Wan Kenobi is getting a re-release in its own Black Series box as well. These are not sold at retail, these are mostly for convention and online retailers only. Very hard to get your hands on this sort of stuff. Excellent, excellent card backs as well. So these are the 40th anniversary Black Series collection on vintage card back we will be getting something very similar to this next year when they change the little logo to the 40th empire strikes back that will change the card backs will change the figures will change in this lineup we have chewbacca the stormtrooper and r2d2 i bought the three samples out to show you the height variation in each of them how they also look these are all six inch figures i think i said that already very cool have the whole collection except for the two exclusive which are Luke X-Wing and R5-D4 part of a very prized part of the collection these are these are much desired figures I, I love these card backs and figures they are all done very very well I've left them to nearly last to show you that this is the kind of stuff we're going to get when you hear about oh the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back It'll be on roughly the same kind of cardstock, the same style of card back. The Star Wars chase will change to Empire Strikes Back and the characters will be a little bit different as well. Awesome, awesome stuff. Yes, they are all 6 inch, even though they do vary in size. So I've left the very popular retro collection to last. This is the 3.75 inch lineup. These were just released in Australia on May the 4th, in the US I think it was May the 12th. The six figures that you see of Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, Chewbacca, Han Solo, Princess Leia and Luke were the series, they were exclusives and the Grand Moff Tarkin came with the board game. 
and he's also, I've taken him out of the board game just to show him off in this thing. Um, these are highly, highly sought after by fans. If you collected them back in the day, you wanted to have this figure on card back. So now they've recreated it for you, weathered the card, put a big retro sticker on there, and molded them almost exactly to exactly the way you would have had them back in the day. Wonderful, wonderful styling. I, I, I really like these. I know people are a bit iffy about the retro collection stickers. I haven't had a real big problem with them at the moment. I'm going to leave them on. But these are the series that everyone's talking about at the moment. This is the hot topic of everyone's lives. Where do I get the retro collection? Because they made a very limited run. They have been so successful, I believe they will do a series two, even though I've heard people think there is a series two coming. I was in a store where a man walked up to the counter and asked, can I put my name down to get series two that's on its way in a couple of weeks? And I, my neck snapped around that quick to listen to this conversation because the guy insisted that the next series is on its way with an AT-AT driver and a Death Star commander. And I was like, really? He knew this information? I've been looking on the internet and I don't have no intel at the moment as to what the next wave is going to be. These look amazing. I hope there is wave two. There has to be something coming for us soon. I really love this collection. This is the complete set, obviously, but I hope there's more. We have like 92 figures they can make out of this, plus extras like Tarkin, a reimagination of the styling. Excellent stuff. So if you hear people talk about the retro collection, this is it. You want you can't miss it with that big sticker on it. And it is much different from obviously you've seen I've I've shown you more or less every line that Hasbro is doing that's collectible. There are obviously multi-packs of figures. There is 12-inch figures and things like that, but mostly sticking to 3.75-inch and 6-inch, this has been the collection. So thank you very, very much for joining me today. It's probably been a very, very long video. It took a long time to film this in little bits and pieces. I rambled on enough. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more like this let me know in the comments down below um, if you've seen anything you like don't forget my affiliates down in the description they will have something anything they've probably got all of the stuff that I've got and if you've seen something that floats your boat click on the affiliate and you'll be able to buy yourself something to add to your collection anyway talking about affiliates mighty heroes for all your Star Wars Marvel DC TV and movies like I said, link in the description down below. Also, Aussie sci-fi collectibles, collectibles for all your hard to find. Star Wars exclusives, they will be able to hook you up. They ship worldwide as well. I got a couple shirts, put them up on the screen. Usual Mike says, hit tap slap. Usual Mike television, an array of all other variations of styles. Go to my Redbubble store, link in the description below and find yourself something that you might like to wear or Perhaps drink out of it so I can put them on a coffee cup for you as well. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMikeTelevision. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, tap the little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.